Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down some NBA player props. I like on prize picks for today's slate on Wednesday, November the 1st. Uh, we've got a lot of games tonight, guys. 13 game slate uh, for this Wednesday. There are going to be a ton of props to choose from today. Um, now, as always, I typically do make these videos the night before. Um, I like to just give you guys some early plays I like the night before, what stands out, and then I, I wind up you know, giving, up, uh, giving out more plays on my Patreon uh, later in the day on Wednesday. But with you know what's available right now, as you can see, we do have a lot of props up. You know, even though I'm making this video Tuesday night, and I was able to find three picks that I liked for this Wednesday slate, guys. So as always, we are going to talk through these three plays, share why I like them. Before we do get started, though, breaking down the plays. If you guys do enjoy these Prize Picks videos, if they help you out, make sure you hit that like button down below, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you guys are new to Prize Picks, if you have never checked out Prize Picks before. You can sign up for Prize Picks and use my promo code, promo code NOAA. Uh, just click, uh, type in that code when you sign up and make your deposit, or you can just click the link down in the description. Use that code, make your deposit. You'll get your first deposit matched up to $100. So if you put in $50, Prize Picks will match that, give you an additional $50 to play with. You put in $100, Prize Picks will match that, give you an additional $100 to play with. Uh, you just have to make sure you do use that code when you sign up. Also, do want to give a quick shout out to Sleeper because we are partnered up with Sleeper as well. If you guys don't know what Sleeper is, they are an app similar to Prospects, so they focus more on player props. You know, obviously you're picking over or under on player projections, but Sleeper uh, does have a dynamic payout system. So what that means is, uh, on Sleeper, the odds will change. You know, the payouts will change based on whether you take the over or the under on a certain prop. Obviously on Prospects, if you've played on Prospects before, you know the payouts don't change. You know, if you take the over or the under, it all pays out the same for the most part. Um, there are certain sports where there's you know a little bit of nerf payouts, but typically on prize picks, whether you take the over or the under, it doesn't change the payouts. Well, that's different on sleeper. Uh, the payouts change you know based on the odds of the certain play hitting, but that does allow sleeper to offer a lot of props that prize picks can't offer. For example, in the NBA on pri or on sleeper, you can bet on you know triple doubles, double doubles, stuff like that. Um, I think sleeper does like I, I want to say they do like first quarter bets and stuff like that. I think prize picks does first quarter bets as well. But Sleeper does offer a lot of different props and a lot of different categories. And on Sleeper, you can win up to 100x your money. So if you really like to chase for those high payouts, I definitely recommend giving Sleeper a try, guys. If you don't have an account on Sleeper yet, download their app uh, either on the App Store or on the Google Play Store. Uh, when you make your first deposit, type in promo code NOAA. You will get your first deposit matched up to $100 over on Sleeper when you use my promo code. Did want to give a quick shout out to them. But let's talk through this prospect slate. Two prop or three props, excuse me, that I'm liking for Wednesday. Um, we did have a good day on Tuesday. Hopefully you guys tailed the two plays I gave out uh, in Tuesday's video. We took Victor Wimanyama over 15 and a half points. That was a little bit sweaty, uh, but Wimanyama did wind up cashing that uh, late in the fourth quarter. And then we took Eric Gordon over two and a half assists. That play hit very easily. I think Gordon had three assists in like the first half, I want to say, or something close to that. So uh, hopefully the two plays you, you know, we, or the two plays I gave out on Tuesday, hopefully you guys did take those. I know they did uh, take down the Eric Gordon assist prop, which is kind of annoying. But hopefully you guys were able to still get that in. Or maybe you took a different prop like points plus assist. I, I did wind up giving that out on my Patreon. Eric Gordon points plus assist and that wound up cashing. So uh, if you took a lot of overs for Eric Gordon on Tuesday, you should have been in pretty good shape because he had a really good game. But we've got three plays for this Wednesday slate to talk about. And let's let's break it down, guys. So we're going to first start off in the points or the points plus rebounds plus assist category. Got a PRA prop I'm liking for today, a points prop I'm liking for today, and a rebound prop I'm liking for today. Um, so we'll start off in the PRA category. We're going to take a look at Alperin Shingun's PRA prop. I don't know why, for whatever reason, like prize picks, I don't know if this is like a coding error or something. I don't know why it says like it's got the WBR. I don't know what that is. I, I think it must be some sort of coding error on prize picks. But we're going to take a look at Alperin Shingun's PRA prop, 31 and a half. And I do like the over here for Shingun. Really like this matchup for Shingun going up against Charlotte. I think this is one of the best possible matchups for centers this season. Um, it was one of the best possible matchups for centers last season. And you look at Shingun so far this season, he's only gone over this line in two out of three games. He had 28 PRA against Orlando, had a huge game against San Antonio, 46 PRA. And then their last game against Golden State, he did have 31 PRA. I want to say their last game against Golden State was a blowout. Um, I think Shingun might have got subbed out early in that game. He did still play a, a decent amount of minutes. He wound up playing... Um, he wound up playing 33 minutes in that game, so maybe it wasn't a blowout. It was an 11-point game. Uh, Shingun lost by the hook in that one. Then he had a big game against San Antonio. Did you know have a somewhat down game against Orlando? But if you look at Shingun this season, and if you just you know if you know Shingun as a player, 
he is one of these guys that just, he can do everything when he's on the floor. And if you look this season, he's averaging over 19 points per game, not a uh, rebounds per game, and nearly seven assists per game. So he's averaging, you know, this season like 30, almost 35 PRA. I think he's averaging exactly 35 PRA this season. Um, in that game against Golden State, 19 points, five rebounds, seven assists. Against San Antonio, 25 points, 14 rebounds, seven assists. And then against Orlando, 14 points, eight rebounds, six assists. So the assists have been there. Uh, even as a big man, uh, big man, he's still getting those assists. He, he kind of, they use him like Jokic. Like they actually will run the offense through Shingun. They give the ball to him a lot at, in the like in the front court, and they'll let him yo. Know, they'll let him kind of you know just find guys. He, he's a really good passer for a big man. He's a good rebounder. He's always under the basket fighting for rebounds, and he's a guy that can score around the basket as well. And this Charlotte team last season, they gave up a lot of points in the paint. They were a bad rebounding team. They gave up a lot of putbacks. And that's where Shingun does a, a lot of his damage is on the glass, you know, around the basket. And you look at his games against Charlotte. He's played Charlotte twice. Uh, the last uh, last season, he played them twice. He had big games against Charlotte, both outings. One game, played 39 minutes, had 24 points, 12 rebounds, and 6 assists. So he had 42 PRA in one game against Charlotte last season. And then in the other game, he faced Charlotte in 32 minutes. He had 14 points, 21 rebounds, and 3 assists. So he had 35 PRA, or 38 PRA in that game. So he went over this line in both of his games against Charlotte last season. So far this season, Charlotte's been a great matchup for centers. You look at where they rank in terms of like you know, points allowed, rebounds allowed, you know, stuff like that. This season, Charlotte's given up the most points per game to centers, and they're giving up the fifth most rebounds to centers. In terms of assists, I think they've been kind of like middle of the pack in terms of assists allowed to centers, but they've given up a ton of points and a ton of rebounds. That was the case last season. I don't think it, it looks like nothing's going to change this season. Really good spot for here, uh, here for Shingun. And on DK Sportsbook right now, odds are heavily favoring the over on this prop. Uh, minus 135 favoring the over on 31.5 PRA for Shingun. So not only you know does the matchup line up well here, and it's a great spot for Shingun, but the odds are also heavily favoring the over on this prop as well. So really feels like all the boxes are checked here. Um, I like more than 31.5 PRA for Alperin Shingun as our first play for today. And then we're going to take a look at a points prop I like, and we're going to talk about Jeremy Grant's points prop of 18 and a half, also like the over here as well. So Jeremy Grant this season, in the four games he's played, he's only gone over this line in one out of four games this season. Um, against the Clippers, he had 13 points. Against the Magic, 15 points. Against the Sixers, 17 points. And then their last game against Toronto was his best scoring game of the season, had 22 points. Now, first off, I do want to say that on DK Sportsbook, they have this line set at 19 and a half. So we're getting a little bit of value here on prospects picks with this line at 18 and a half when you know, DK Sportsbook has it at 19 and a half. I expect this line will probably get bumped to 19 and a half at some point. Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, it'll still be at 18 and a half and you can get it then. Um, but let's talk about why I like this prop. Not only you know, is it at 19 and a half on DK Sportsbook, so that's obviously a great, you know, great sign. You know, we're getting some value here. But when you look more into this prop, you know, I like it even more because Jeremy Grant this season, he's had a really big role for the Blazers. His usage rate has been sky high. Second on the team in usage rate this season, 28.3% usage rate for Jeremy Grant. The only player with the higher usage rate on the Blazers has been Malcolm Brogdon, 30.8%. And then if you look behind Brogdon and Grant, it's a big drop off in terms of the next guy in usage. And that's Scoot Henderson, who's had a 20.7% usage rate. And if you even look at like the last, or that's the last two games, excuse me. So that's the last two games without Anthony Simons. Um, even if you look at the whole season, Jeremy Grant, second on the team in usage for the whole season. But the last two games is what I really wanted to focus on because those are the two games that they have played without Anthony Simons. Obviously, Anthony Simons is out right now. He's going to be out for a while. So there's going to be a, a big role here for Jeremy Grant. He scored 17 points in a tough matchup against Philadelphia. He scored 22 points in a tough matchup against Toronto. This is probably the best matchup he's had all season against the against the Pistons. I know the Pistons this season defensively have actually not been that bad, but this Pistons team last season was a terrible defensive team. I think they're going to be a pretty bad defensive team this season, even though they do have even though they rank like tenth in defensive rating. Last season, I want to say they had like the third worst defensive rating. I'm going to take a look at it real quick. So last season, the Pistons, yeah, they had the fourth worst defensive rating last season. I think this Pistons team is going to be bad defensively, even though that hasn't really been the case this year. I think it's a pretty good matchup here for Jeremy Grant. The usage has been really strong lately without Anthony Simons. The volume has been good as well. If you look in that game against Toronto, he did take 18 shots in that game. So, you know, the volume was really good. He took 16 shots in that game against Philadelphia, 14 shots against Orlando. So it's not like he's, he's not even been that efficient shooting the ball. He's just been getting a ton of volume. And that's what we really want to see. 
Um, you know, Grant could have a poor shooting game here and still score 19 points if he's going to shoot the ball nearly 20 times. So, yeah, over 18 and a half points for Jeremy Grant is the second play I like for today. And then the third and final play I like is going to be a rebounds prop. We're going to take a look at Jalen Brown, five and a half rebounds. Also like the over here. So that's going to be our third and final play for this video. If you take a look at uh, Jalen Brown this season, in all three of their games, uh, he's put up at least six rebounds. He's had exactly six rebounds in all three games this season. So he's over this line in three out of three games. Another thing I like to see here, you look at DK Sportsbook right now, this prop is heavily favoring the over. Uh, minus 150 favoring the over. Actually, minus 160. So this, this line is almost certainly getting bumped up to six at some point. Hopefully... By the time you're watching this video, this line will still be at five and a half, and you can get it at five and a half. If it does get bumped up to six, I still think it's okay to play at six. There's just a higher chance that that you know finishes as a push because obviously Grant has had exactly six rebounds in all three games this season, or not Grant Brown has had exactly six rebounds in all three games this season. Uh, but I'm still okay playing it at six if it does get bumped up to six, which it probably will at some point. But yeah, odds are heavily favoring the over here. Brown is minus 160 on DK to go over five and a half rebounds. And if you take a look at his rebounds this season, if you look at the rebound chances, so, you know, playing with Chris as Porzingis and Jason Tatum, those are two guys that will crash the glass and will grab rebounds. But so far this season, in terms of rebound chances, uh, Jalen Brown is third on the team in rebound chances. He's tied with Jason Tatum, averaging 12.3 rebound chances per game. The guy that's actually leading the team in, in rebound chances so far this season, kind of surprising, has been Drew Holiday. Uh, Drew Holiday uh, has averaging 14 rebound chances per game. I expect Drew Holiday will probably drop off there. I do not expect Drew Holiday to lead this this team in rebound chances, even though Drew Holiday is a solid rebounding guard. I think most nights you're going to see a lot of the rebounds, you know, gobbled up by Porzingis, Tatum, and, and Jalen Brown. And over the last like five or six seasons, um, I think it's the last five seasons. Uh, yeah, last five seasons for Jalen Brown, he's averaged at least six rebounds in all five of his last five seasons. So. He's typically a guy that can get six rebounds on average. His last three games against the Pacers, for what it's worth, he has had seven, 11, and 10 rebounds. I think this is a good rebounding matchup. The Pacers, they do play really fast. They're fifth in the league in pace this season. So when you're facing a team that plays fast, that's going to you know push the pace, that's just going to be more mean more shot attempts, more rebound opportunities. The one thing I am concerned about here is blowout potential. Uh, this Pacers team, you know, playing on the road in Boston, it's kind of scary. Right now, Boston is favored by, let's see, yeah, Boston's favored by 11 and a half in this game. So that is my one concern is that this game does turn into a blowout and maybe Jalen Brown doesn't play in the fourth quarter. But that was the case last game against Washington, and he still grabbed six rebounds even while not playing in the fourth quarter. So with the odds heavily favoring the over here, I like this play quite a bit. More than five and a half rebounds for Jalen Brown. It's going to be our third and final play for today. So these are three early plays, guys, that I'm liking for this big Wednesday NBA slate. Uh, Alperin Shingun, more than 31.5 PRA. Jeremy Grant, more than 18.5 points. And Jalen Brown, more than 5.5 rebounds. Hopefully, you guys can tell me uh, with these three plays, or hopefully you will tell me on these three plays. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this video, these lines will still be the same. I know they've the lines have been getting bumped a lot lately on my plays, which, you know, just, it, it happens. It is what it is. Um, but that's why you got to you know, be subscribed to the channel. Make sure to turn those notifications on. I know I upload these videos really late at night. Like right now, I'm recording this video at 2 a.m. on Tuesday night. But I want to get you guys some early plays. I try and get these videos out as soon as I can. Um, just so that way there's you know, plenty of time for you guys to watch these videos. Plenty of time for you to get these plays in. Um, hopefully, you can tell me, though, with the lines that we have available here. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching the video. As always, guys, hit that like button if you did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you guys are new to Prize Picks, go check them out, sign up, use that promo code NOLA, get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you do sign up for Prize Picks with my promo code. Uh, but that's all that I got for tonight, guys, for this big Wednesday slate. If you guys do want more Prize Picks plays from me, I will be providing those over on Patreon. Uh, typically, Wednesday afternoon, once the full board gets posted, I do provide more plays on Prize Picks uh, for Patreon members. Check that out, linked down below in the description if you are interested. But Good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching the video, as always, and supporting the content. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.